Hey everyone, it's Larry here at LC Model Building, and uh, this episode is going to be one of our train buildings. So we're putting together this uh, Milwaukee station here behind me, and this is a large, large building. It's uh, it's over two feet long and about two feet high till it's all said and done. So a lot of pieces to it. Um, not an overall really difficult build, but. Uh, it does does definitely have a lot of pieces. Um, this is going to be three separate uh, videos. So um, this one obviously is the building, and then there's going to be the train shed that goes behind it, which is a separate set of the kit. It all comes in one kit, but it's a separate part basically. And then we'll do one for the um, the parking lot and the tracks and all that kind of stuff once that's all said and done. So thank you very much for tuning in. Please give a like and subscribe and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to get started here now. Um, now we know what we're building. So this is a huge undertaking. So this uh, building is literally about two feet long. So that's going to be from about here all the way over to about here, roughly. Um, now, I gotta run some track, I'm using this as a pointer, down through here, and then we're gonna have some, um, some, uh, um, these, I can't think of the word, oh my god, um, but anyhow, they're going to split and, uh, bring our track down in, so we're gonna have four tracks behind the building um and then the building up here obviously and that's going to lead into a roundhouse over or not a roundhouse but a turntable over here and then a roundhouse back here towards all this junk that still has to move so let's uh, go ahead and get our box open and um yeah you can kind of see the city is taking shape over here um, still a lot of building to do here on the left. I just have some buildings kind of arranged there right now. They're not set how they're going to be, but, uh, yeah, we're moving right along. So let's get this box open and get started. Okay, so I'm going to take the lid off here, and you can see this is quite the undertaking. Um, the box is about six inches thick, and there's pieces basically all the way through it. So it comes in two separate bags. You have your train shed, which is right here. And I am going to build that second, and then you have your actual building, um, which is under it. And then there's a construction book here, obviously. So, um, has a couple decals here, uh, and those look like track numbers and some passenger signs and whatnot. So, those are all going to be separate. And then I've got a couple little pieces that look like they fell out of the bag, and there are some window pieces. So, the first thing I'm going to do is take my concrete pieces and paint them tan, and I'm going to take my brick pieces and paint them um, my, uh, my flat red. So, essentially, I'll have them already painted and ready to go when it comes time to actually set them. So, that should uh, save some time and aggravation and then I'll do all the windows in one shot I mean the good thing about this is it's a lot of all the same colors over and over again so like these are the walls and it literally are the same not are the is the same pieces over and over again so that would be the two front walls that go on the front I do believe um, just kind of from judging what I'm looking at looks like we got some um, Looks like we got some uh, gutters here, so they will be green. They'll probably be a lighter green, so they kind of have that copper look like we just did on the church in the last video. Um, and it looks like another set of window pieces. Oh, and then we got part of the tower right here and here. So th there's the lower tower and the upper tower. Um, these look like sides of the building, and you got two sets of them. I think there's actually four, because, um, yep, here's the other half. So, there's that. Um, and that has the other pieces of uh, the tower and whatnot. So, what I'm going to do now is go ahead and just paint all of this, because um, there's a lot, as you can see, just to paint. And I'll do the roofing separately, um, since uh, that is... Uh, not going to be needed for a little while anyway. Um, 
so it does look like this kind of separates into different pieces which is kind of cool i'll look that up as i'm going here with the instructions but like i said in the meantime um i'm just going to start preparing to paint my uh concrete stuff so let me get started on that and i'll be okay, back okay so i did the first um section that i wanted to work on here now i am painting a lot of concrete in here which that is completely up to you if you decide to do that or if you want to keep it red i preferred to do a little bit more concrete work to give it a little bit of a contrast um you can see here i'm just kind of scraping a little bit there that i missed but there we go so um, what we're going to do now is put the doors on and there are just an absolute ton of pieces to this uh, whole process. So like I said, I'm starting with this one only because that was um, one of the sections that I painted first um, and just getting the pieces out to paint. As you can see, they're fairly large, so I needed quite a bit of room just to paint. So. I painted the um, doors and windows with a dark, dark green, excuse me, dark, dark green. And, um, you know, from here, this really is just like a really large model kit um, or building kit, you know, that you would usually do on a model train. So there's not anything that is overly crazy difficult from any of this that I'm seeing. It's just huge. I mean, everything's just big and there's a lot of it. So I think that's going to be the biggest part is just uh, continuing to move at it as I go and, um, and all of that good stuff. So I see a piece 71 and a piece 72. So that piece I just cut out, I happened to look at the number there, which I should have. Um, that was piece number 71, so then I need 72, um, which is possibly on the other sprue, but I don't know, I don't see this, uh, 72 here, so let me look for that, um, and then I'm just going to glue these doors in and uh, the windows above it and start working my way up. So I'll be right back. Okay, so um, I got the bottom part of the tower done pretty much here and uh, I gotta put a little bit of doll coat there. I made a mistake with putting these, uh, these banisters on, but um, then I started working on the upper part of the tower only because I just kind of want to finish this section before I move on to the two sides that go out from here. So as I'm sitting here working on it, I'm thinking about these windows because some of these are quite big, as you can see, and you're going to be able to see through them on the layout. So then I started thinking more about, do I want to try to put some interior details together? Because if any of you watched my Titanic video, I pretty much did the, or videos, I pretty much did the entire interior scene of, um, of the upper decks on it so I'm thinking I may obviously not do the whole entire interior to this but this was a real building so um, the uh, the floor plan for it should be available so I'm thinking I might look up and try to find um, a floor plan even if it's kind of a generic floor plan um, granted I won't probably do everything and I would definitely won't do it exactly to floor or to the to the layout but um you know if I can get something going that might not be a bad thing on this layout with how big this uh building is um the other aspect to that is the fact that um the uh the um tower here has a clock on it so I kind of showed that a second ago I'll show it again so there's an indent right here for that and I'm looking at it and I'm thinking hmm it comes with decal or like a sticker type thing that you cut out and glue into place but I'm kind of wondering if I could find a cheap watch that fit right in there um, I'd have to get four of them obviously and then kind of cut away 
the um, the band mounting spots, but I think I might be able to fit a watch in here. Like my watch that I'm wearing is a little bit big, but I, I, you know, if I could find a smaller one, that may work. So, um, you know, I'm going to do a little bit of homework on those two aspects because for the interior, if worse comes to worse, I can literally just um, um, 3D print most of what I'd want to do, and then I can print out some flooring. Um, actually, I just pretty much use the same stuff that I used from Titanic. Um, and I think that would give a pretty cool aspect to it. And it would make the, uh, the building just have a little bit more life, I'm thinking. So I'm going to see what I can do with that here as we go. Um, in this video per se, I'm probably not going to do that. And if I decide to do it, it'll be something that um, I can continue to do as I'm building the building. Because um, like this tower, obviously, you can see there's not a backing to this. So I'd be able to put a floor in here and here and, you know, put some chairs or desks or whatever in it to kind of get that look that I'm going for. So. More to come on that, um, you know, like I said, I'll decide as I'm going a little bit more, but uh, it definitely could be in the works. So anyway, I'm gonna put the glass in on this and uh, we'll be back. Okay, so these are all of the walls basically, all set and ready to go. Um, there's quite a few of them, as you can see. So we're going to go ahead and start kind of putting this together. Um, it has a base piece that goes down on it first, <coughs> and um, I just finished painting that, so what we're going to do is grab it, and this is our center, so I guess I can take them off. No, you know what, I'm going to leave them for support, because they're not going to hurt anything. Um, and we have a back wall, which is this one. So that goes right there. And then the clock tower goes on the front of this. So what I'm going to do is glue this down onto here. And I'm going to grab the clock tower a minute, which I have over on the other wall here. Um, there's just so many... There's just so many pieces to it that it's kind of hard to keep them all in one location. Especially when you're not ready to do final assembly. But... This kind of goes the same way, it just gets glued across the front, it seems to be the easiest way. And we'll put a little bit down here too. Okay. So. I'm going to glue that, obviously, like we did. And then, um, I was looking for a little bit of my, uh, my, uh, adhesive promoter. I know I have a can upstairs, but, uh, it would be useful right now just to kind of get this set. Um, because then the next piece goes on over here. And that is one of the larger ones. So there's two that kind of go together. And I think just because of the size of this build here, um, for, for length of the video, I'm going to do the shelter as a separate video. Because uh, just putting this together alone 
will probably take up enough time to finish out this video. So we're going to just put a glue dab kind of along the joint here. And then our front wall that goes on here will be one of these. And that connects to the clock tower, obviously. So that will actually help give it some support. And it just kind of pushes in there like that. So I'm actually just going to glue it from the back like this. because that should hold it pretty fine. And then I'm just gonna put a bead of glue down along the uh, base here. So that we're basically connecting those two portions. And it does take some effort to kind of hold these together, which uh, would definitely be nice if I had some um, adhesive promoter right now. So I may pause it and go grab that just because uh, continuing on after this piece may be a challenge. starting to set up. I got a little bit of glue that went through the bottom of that and it's starting to stick to the mat so that's why I keep moving it. Okay we're pretty well held. So let me pause it and go up and grab the adhesive promoter, uh, promoter and I'll be right back. Okay I went ahead and put the wall on on the uh, other side over here and now um, this wall being the front sits forward just a little bit so you can see there's two little grooves there um, that's so you can basically set it where you need it to be set and this one is going to use this wall And I'm trying to see here if there's a piece. Yes, there is. There's a small little piece that goes in here, which which probably is going to mean that I'm going to have to do some brick work. Maybe not. Maybe not. Number 20, what number is it? 21. Yeah, I guess I won't have to do brick work. It just is a piece that connects them. Oh no, I do. So I'm gonna put a little bit of mortar in here. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and do both sides quick so they're done. Um, I did find a new trick to this that I've been kind of using, which is basically a sponge and then just uh, a, na um, a uh, moist paper towel and it's been working quite a bit better than uh, what I was doing previously because this building has a heck of a lot of brick to it, as you can see. Okay, that gave the effect there. Let me do this one quick, and then I'll move on.
so in between this building, um, I have started the Bismarck build too. So those of you that are watching both, um, I'm kind of doing both of them simultaneously here. And it's actually working out nice because right now I have the uh, paint drying on Bismarck's hull, but I can continue going solid with this. So it's working out pretty good. Um, okay, so this is the front, which means I need piece 21, which is the other one. So yeah, I should anyway have another video for that coming out soon. If not before this one, I'm not sure how long it will end up uh, being. I guess that's the bottom, right? No, that's the top. Well, that doesn't make sense. So, must be this one. And I say it doesn't make sense because there's little grooves there for this to fit into. Oh no, I see. Okay, it did make sense. No, it doesn't. Oh yes, it does. <laughs> Sorry about that. So that goes right there, basically. That should take me right up to, yeah, okay, just making sure here what's going on. Okay, so we're going to glue this on from the inside. And you're going to want to kind of push it forward to get it to set. Okay. Then this one gets glued. Onto here. And you can really see that the scale of this thing, I mean, this is only essentially a little over half of it, so it's going to be quite the large building. Okay, now, the back side has a doorway on it. Oh, actually, they both have a doorway. Um, so one side of the building has a doorway, one side does not, so no big deal. Doesn't really matter which way I go with it. So this side's going to have the door. Yeah, I figure that until I get the train shelter built and then uh, all the scenery that I'm going to end up doing around this, like the parking lot and all that kind of stuff, it will definitely end up being a two video uh, saga, so to say. So. It just is way bigger than what I anticipated when I started this whole adventure. The good thing is I have plenty of room on the layout for it. I did plan this one out, so I at least already knew where it was going. But like some of the buildings that I'm building right now, I haven't per se built or made a plan for them before I build them. I just build them and then 
kind of fit them in as I was going. At least this one, like I said, has a set plan before I even started. So, should be no real issues with it. And there's plenty of room. Okay, so this basically is what the half looks like. So I'm going to do the other half off camera um, just because it's kind of repetitive. And then we'll put the roof on after that. So, yeah, this thing is big. The good thing is, it is actually beginning to have stability already, so that does make me happy. But let me go ahead and pause it, and uh, I'll be back. Okay, so right now I have the tower um, taken off, as you can see, on purpose. I just, uh, I'm getting ready to put the, um, the dormers up on the back section of the building, and... Essentially, they're just three parts, and uh, we're going to go ahead and throw them on real quick. Um, nothing too difficult with them. Um, they do have a directional that they go. So, essentially, one goes, hopefully we can see here, I'm going to just glue quick. One goes on the front here, and we got one that go on the back section, not the back, but the side, the other side. They are directional. That's kind of what I was trying to explain, but didn't really come across that way. And as I'm looking at this more as, as we go here, um, I do believe that this is going to end up being a three video series because we're going to have the train shed, which will take an entire whole video. And then we're going to have the, um, the, uh, landscaping and the parking lots and the track laying and all of that stuff that will occur so i do think this one's going to end up being a fairly long series but there we go we got the dormer in um i'm gonna go ahead and do the other three and then we got a couple chimneys that go over on the far side and the floor or the roof it goes in here and then final connection of the uh of the tower so i'll be back okay so first up we got these um chimneys that go on not first up but uh as we continue i guess um one thing with them it does say you may have to trim um just a tiny bit and i do so i need to trim right here just a little bit and we're close not perfect. And if this doesn't work, I may actually have to trim off the top looking at it. Uh, maybe not. I think I can cut right there. Yeah, that, that is getting me closer. So just basically trimming the back of it so that it lines up properly up at the top here. Oh, 
That will definitely do it. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So we're going to run our glue right along there and there. And it has two little tracks to run on there, basically. And then it just sits there. Now, there is also <coughs> um, tops that go in the chimneys. So you can see them there. Um, we'll put that on real quick. And then we have two outer chimneys that also go on. So I'll show them. And I do recommend if you're doing the um, the brick effect that you build the chimneys before you do it. I tried to do it after, or I mean before, and ran into some problems. So just uh, FYI. So this chimney is a little bit smaller, but not not any different in that uh you basically are just connecting your two pieces on and then it also has a cap that goes on top this one didn't require any trimming and just basically fits as is so that's good and then this cap is uh a double type chimney building must have had a ton of fireplaces. Okay. So that's how that looks. So I'm going to go ahead and put the last two on over here and over here. And then um, I guess I might as well go ahead and do the roof real quick while I have the video going right now. And that basically nothing crazy to it just sits on there and there's a piece over here that goes into the tower that's basically it nothing nothing too challenging um there is some interior light bleeding issues that I'm going to have to address. And for that, I'll just use the evergreen uh, light bleed um, putty type stuff, which I also use on a lot of my ships, but it works quite well. So that's what we'll do. I did consider doing interior in this. And I may still do it down the road in the future, um, but I'm not doing it right now. There's just, I have too many other projects to do, and uh, that will take a whole nother level of uh, fabrication and designing stuff 3D print-wise and all that kind of stuff that I just really don't have time for right now. So maybe down the road, but not not right now. All right, so um, I'm going to finish up these last two chimneys, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of show it on the layout and what the plans are and wrap up the video. So let me go ahead and pause it, and I'll be back. Okay, so here is the pretty much completed building, um, as you can see. Um, there's the downtown right down that way. So what we're going to have is there's going to be a parking lot right out in here. We'll have two tracks coming kind of along the front down here. There'll be a parking lot along here. Um, behind it will be the train shed back here. And I'm going to have multiple lines that kind of go into this. And then there will be a roundhouse over here with a loop around back around the other side there's a bunch of junk over there so i won't show that necessarily right now but um i'll probably also put a smaller parking lot here as well um and then uh yeah that basically wraps up uh this video so 
Thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you next time here on LC Model Building.